today, President Neville Crowe, flanked by coach Kevin Bartlett, announced the battle had been won. In fact, $1,033,626 in cash is sitting in a bank account and even more is expected to flow in over the next few weeks. The Tigers raised the money in some weird and wonderful ways. Seven-year-old Christopher O'Brien started the ball rolling when he donated his birthday money. What do you think of the Tigers? Do you think they should survive? Thank you, yes. Why is that? Because they're the best team. Since, numerous rallies, functions, auctions and a Legends game has kept the money pouring in. Now the Tigers can start 1991 with a clean slate and that makes coach Kevin Bartlett a happy man. The players will be approaching the season with a very, very clear mind and a satisfied mind that the Richmond Football Club will be here for another 100 years or so. So the crisis at Richmond is over. Now the Tigers' real battle begins and that's the climb back up the AFL ladder. And Richmond's campaign begins on March the 23rd next year when they meet St Kilda at Waverley in the opening round of the 1991 season. Stephen Quartermain, 10 Evening News. Meanwhile, Richmond Football Club today announced it had raised $1,033,000, enough to satisfy the bankers after a successful Save Our Skins campaign. The Tigers had been threatened with extinction until the funds rolled in. Drew Morfitt, 7 Nightly News.